All right, what's up, peeps? We're back with more of a Burnham 3 Ruin World. And off screen, I did a job <laughs> and all that. And I also, you know, I tried experimenting with more of Hawksman to see if I get more of the uh, experimental stuff. Not really so much. It was kind of slow. And I also did a tiny bit more exploring and was able to find some items. That's why he has momentum gauntlets now, which is good. And I'm hanging on to a pair of pants here. Uh, because there is an Easter egg I want to activate, so I'm not going to sell these. I'll just have them in my inventory. But the fastest way to make time pass is just to simply hold, go to four emergence, hold down the space bar, and then wait it out. And you can fast for the days. But there is a certain day here coming up that I wanted to show you all exactly what happens if you let what happens on day 160 and as you can see by waiting a bunch of monsters will spawn but one way you can remedy that is simply get into earnest high as quickly as you can again it's annoying to tell that this is a mechanic in the game since my group can very much take care of slimes I'm not even going to wait spell energy on this to a town real quick uh get me right back to lorelei though because i do want to see if uh there's another thing in hawk's man it's the only thing that really happened in this regard though is the fact that the ghosts also spawn so i'm not sure how exact how many a strike is exactly happening in hawk's Mance here that sometimes the ghost can spawn there And unfortunately for the Medal of Carmine, I think that time has come and gone because there is a certain uh, uh, NPC that spawns in the Sheremick area, not in Sheremick, but in the Sheremick area, one of the other towns that sells you a map where you can find some decent metal and that will work to complete the Metal for Carmine quest. But unfortunately, I think too many days have passed and that NPC has disappeared. So it looks like I will not be able to complete that. But since we are on day 159 now, let's go ahead and do some resting here. So, I can show you all the random event that's going to be happening here very, very soon. Or not so much a random event, but it is a quest that you can do if you get to day 160. And in a way, I hated to uh, not go right into the end game because this is something you do have to wait for. But at the same time, I do want to show you all of it. New Day Dawn's Empire 33, you're 833. Or is it 161? I don't even know. I was supposed to get a notification. Maybe we'll just have to let one more day pass here. But yeah, unfortunately, yeah, like I said, for uh, For uh, the metal for Carmine, that time has come and gone, unfortunately, because I can't. The NPC that gives us map to lumps of metal has now disappeared, and I unfortunately <laughs> that was a uh, one I wasn't able to buy in time. Excuse me for that cough, by the way. I do try my best to not do that while recording, but I'm hoping the the quest line that. I'm looking for happens here very, very soon. Okay, here we go. Suddenly, without warning, you feel a vicious me mental jolt. As your hair head clears, you feel that something horrible has happened, but you haven't the slightest idea what. 
Okay, so yes, this is why I wanted to wait until day 160. So let's head back to Fort Emergence. We'll go ahead and sell the items we have. Hopefully I can also get 5,000 coins so I can... So I'm going to be uh, gathering up loot one more time, but I also want to buy a blessing from the Drake. See what that is. You enter an Axemander's office and immediately see from his face that something has gone horribly wrong. Demons have taken the Tower of Magi. They've sealed it off from Avernum, and they are summoning more of their kind. If something is not done, they will soon have the force to assault Avernum and slay everyone there. The only way into the tower, we think, is a portal in the portal fortress. The only group we can send to do anything is yours. He is clearly terrified. Come in and speak with me, and I can tell you where to go. If you don't get down there soon, our land and all in it are doomed. Your ultimate mission is to complete our bargain with Empress Prozac. If we do what she asks, we will finally win a Vernox to place back on the surface. Now that we have completed the treaty with Empress Prozac, you have one goal and one set of orders. Find and destroy the Swords of the Plagues. If you succeed, and if Prozac is a woman of reward, the imprisonment and the Vernites will come to the end. They, 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 he seems stunned. They were, they are destroying our home. They are destroying the surface world. They were allies, but now they are enemies. It is so strange. I don't understand it. Yet yeah, now, fight them we must. Can I ever return to the Tower of Magi? An Axemander looks grim. You must. Somehow, the Tower of Magi was seized by mighty demons. We lost control of the portal. We need you to analyze the situation. You need to go to the Portal Fortress immediately. All right, so we'll eventually get around to. Dang it! This actually might be, looks like it'll be lesser parts in the second game, because I I did seventy seven parts of that, but this one on the other hand is going to be done pretty remote, fairly quick, honestly. The horrible feeling you felt early returned, stronger than ever. You hear a voice in your mind, a female voice that sounds very familiar. It says simply, We are dying. Help us. Oh God, help us. And mercifully, the vision fades. Oh dear. You know, the funny thing about this too is that many people would complete, would beat the storyline before this ever spawns, so I wish there was a way you could do it without missing it because chances are people are going to beat the game before e this even happens. All right, let's go ahead and sell our stuff to Walnor if he's still here. Again, NPCs will disappear if uh, you take a long time. What is wrong with the portal? Tower of Magi Disaster. We need to get someone down there and fast to take the tower back from the evil creatures and stabilize the portal. Otherwise, the portal will be destroyed along probably with most of Avernum. We would like to use the teleporter. He looks grim. I should hope that you wouldn't want to go down. The Tower of Magi is sealed off. This teleporter is the only route in. Go down there and retake the tower or we're all doomed. Good luck to you. Oh dear. Okay, here we are on the Tower of Magi, and this time we landed in a room. Okay, let's go ahead and get some stuff we can sell. I kind of forgot who all he could do for potions, but oh well. You arrived in the ruins of the Tower of Magi in one of the guest bedrooms. 
The formerly bright halls now stink of sulfur and echo with inhuman roars. As you reorient yourself, someone whispers, Come here, quickly! Then you hear footsteps to the cell. Dang, the Tower of Magi has been completely destroyed. This library has survived the devastation of the Tower of Magi largely intact. The smell of sulfur is weaker here. As you enter, you see someone slip behind a bookshelf up the south end of the room. Solberg. Okay, Solberg, what happened? The Swither's torn and scorched robes mark him as a member of the Triad of the Tower of Magi. He has been badly burned, but he still looks thrilled to see you. He tries to blink the soot out of his eyes. He can barely see you. Reinforcements. I am Solberg. Thanks heavens help us come. What has happened here? He waves his hand at the cracked and burnt walls. It was Linda. She tried again to summon and control the dark powers. Now we may all be doomed. Is Linda still alive? She is. Curse her. He can barely contain his anger. Damn hurts the pit forever. You cannot imagine the horror that has been wrought here. If you cannot help us contain the dark powers, we may all be doomed. He calms down a little. Still, if you could speak to her, she might be able to tell you what she did. She survived the demon's attack. Why are we doomed? Linda com commandeered our portal at the top of the tower and Grahoth is trying to work his way through. The gate must be destroyed. Who is Grahoth? One of the most powerful demons that ever existed. It was only through great luck and cost that he was banished before. This time he is prepared. He must be kept away. How can I destroy the gate? That is the problem. I don't know how to close the gate. I can sense it from here. It is powerful in a way I am completely unfamiliar with. Explore the tower as best you can. Maybe you will find a clue for how to deal with it. Linda might know. But before you go, a warning. Did you see where Linda went? I saw her running to the southeast. I hope she survives this or ordeal, if only so I can punish her myself. If she lives, she may be hiding there. What is your warning? The path up through the portal is guarded by the bulk of Graha's forces. Avoid them, or you may well be overwhelmed. Solberg continues to cower back here out of the way. Thank heavens you are here. You must help us. Uh, what dark powers does she summon? How can I destroy the gate? Uh, how can I get it up to the portal? I don't know. The main route is guarded by a demon horde. If there is a second route up, I don't know where it is. I can give you some useful knowledge, though. What? I have been exploring the tower. It has been difficult to evade the demons, but I have managed. I know that most of their guards are at the north end of the tower, near the entrance. There are fewer demons to the south and east. Uh, you are hurt. Can I help you? Save your energy. You will need it to seal the portal. You are only hope. Can you give me any help or training? He looks annoyed by, your, by the question. He is clearly in too much pain to help you. Did anyone else survive the demon attacks? We received no warning. She did something in her lab and the creatures poured forth. Hardly anyone survived. The triad is sundered. I hid myself here magically. That is the only reason I am still alive. What happened to the other triad members? I felt Madavi's death. X teleported away. I am stuck here. Together we might have been able to do something, but the demons came without warning. Oh no, not Madavi. Uh that sucks. X is smart to teleport away though. Several bodies have been carelessly cast over here. They all met speedy, fiery ends. Uh, Madavi was good, too. Oh, that sucks. Madavi was the one that helped our second group destroy the Empire Portal. So she was very good, too. Now she's dead because of Linda's stupid self. I liked Madavi, too. That really sucks. That really, really sucks. Whatever. We can slay some demons, so. But see, the one thing I don't like about this uh, quest is the fact that you do have to wait until a certain day 
comes before it even happens in the first place. It should have been just one of those things that all players should come across no matter what. Because, yeah, chances are you're going to beat the game before you even encounter this. So it does uh, uh, conclude, and it also concludes uh, the whole storyline with Linda and the concerns we have with her. Of course, I am still going to loot up because I, I do want 5,000 coins for a uh, Drake. Here are cacophony of voices, distant and filled with horror. The one drowns out all the others, a cruel, deep, and human voice. We have the tower, and soon we will have you all. So come defy us. Nothing would make us happier. You know, since these walls are breakable, we might as well, right? Uh, Linda, you are an idiot. I mean, to be fair, our group did try to warn warn the triad I'm not saying it's a uh, like people like Madabi's fault or anything but I think X was really the only one clawed hands have torn this book to shreds I'm not gonna like blame any like anybody else in the triad and stuff like that but yeah, Solberg was the only one that believed us this whole time. And he even, but even he wasn't like prepared, so it's not like I blame any of the other triad members. Uh, Linda should not have been brought back into the freaking tower, though. Okay, and I am going to try to explore much as I can of the our magi before we complete this okay but i'm not going to go in any of these doors because i think that's going to lead us right into the area where we would get overwhelmed Maybe that was Madavi trying to reach out to our group too here with like help us. I mean it would make sense. She was a powerful wizard. After all. Unfortunately it wasn't enough to survive, which is a shame. Massive tendrils of black stone have grown out of the floor ahead, completely blocking the entrance to the tower. Nobody is getting in or out of here anytime soon. Okay. Not that we can get back to Avernum anyway, so... <laughs> Alright, instead of... Let's do some more exploring here. So many wizards getting killed because of freaking Linda. This is just wild. Who are all the potion sellers? I forgot because I do want to spend cash here. I mean, not cash, but herbs here. Because I've gathered up so many and never used them. Or hardly used them anyway. Maybe honestly, I have enough to just go into the endgame without having to buy a bunch of stuff.
Okay, we can't give her the dark thoughts anyway, so... So, whatever, we'll just take it. You encounter an insubstantial form of middle-aged man, still wearing translucent robes and a sash of office. He motions you forward. Ah, it says, the living. I was Conruck. There was not much time. Uh, why are you here, spirit? Hurry. I was useless in life. Don't let me be useless in death, too. How were you useless in life? He points out the spectral sh sash of office. This was a sign of my uselessness. I could do nothing as a bureaucrat. When the demons came, I saw my chance. Were you mayor here? I was the administrator for the Tower of Magi. I had no powers, no responsibilities. Then I had a chance to fight the demons. I failed. What chance did you see? They have a gate, and they're trying to bring more demons through. I try to close it. How did you try to close it? The main way to it was well guarded, but I think there is a back entrance. What is the main entrance? The main entrance is up by the stairs by the main entrance by the tower. But there are huge demons there. But I know the tower so well, I was able to find a back entrance. What back entrance? There is a secret passage from London's laboratory to the portal. I opened it, but I can't remember how. I got killed, and it took away memories. It was something about antler. Turn an antler. That is all I know. Where is Linda? She is close. I can sense her. Quite close. Did you get to the portal? Then a demon surprised me. It sucked away my energy, picked me up, and gutted me. Oh, how it hurt. He winces at the memory. I failed to reach the gate. Now you must try, otherwise you are all doomed. How can you be so sure of that? You can't feel it. You're not spirits, but I can. An evil force of incredible power is coming. I wouldn't want to be you if you don't shut that portal soon. Go. Go. Crack open the book and begin to read it. It's a journal of someone named Orvid and a zeal in the dark power. It's disturbing and stuff, but you find yourself unable to stop reading. You learn a powerful summoning spell, but you feel an end. Okay. Okay, I'm, I'm really not worried about dark thoughts, because clearly it doesn't have any effect. Okay, nothing here. The demons took particular pains to blast this room with fire. Nothing gets left. Meet the shredded wreckage of a human being. She has grievous wounds on her arms and chest, but one look in her eyes tells you that the worst damage is in her mind. Her voice scrapes its way out of her throat. Ha! Ah, hello, I was Linda. What happened to you? She digs her torn fingernails into her legs and speaks. I failed. I brought destruction on us all. What did you do? She inhales slowly and painfully and speaks. I, I brought demons here. I thought I could bend Grahoth to my will, using my own spirit. As the gate. Is Grahoth here? No, not, not yet. The demons hold the portal open. He tries to find the way through. Portal must be destroyed. Grahoth, who is he? Her face twists in horror. A Vernum's great foe, defeated by warriors in years past. Still there, still able to serve us. I wanted to bend Avernum's great foe to our will. To use against the Empire. I will channel him here. Through me. I would hold his demon legion back. With my own spirit. Your spirit could not hold him back? She screams a long wrenching keen. Her chest heaves. Which, considering the scent of the burns on her chest, must be agonizing. They use me as a gate. Rip my soul. Away. I am their gate. She quiets down. My spirit has been taken. From me, made into a gate, through which demons will pour into a burnum. How can we close your soul gate? She starts to lose consciousness, but manages to pull back from oblivion. It must be torn. It must be destroyed. It is the only way to save us all. It can be severed, if you have the blessed thing. There is little other help I can give. Where can I get this blessed thing? 
I managed to put it in the temple. It will be safe there, but not for long. Then go to the portal at the highest point of the tower. Don't hesitate to destroy it or we are all doomed. Where's the temple? To the north and east. The demons cannot approach the altar. Get a thing, then return. Can say more. Go. You know, I probably should kill her, but at the same time, we did need to learn about the... Uh, where the theme is, just in case. I think there is a way you can kill her anyway, so... I think she ends up dead anyway, so I'm not, that's why I'm not worried about it. Uh, the spirit of the young man floats here over the charred bones of the prince mage. It stares at you. I was Bernard. Why are you here, spirit? Oh, you must help me. Help me if you can. I need to save Carrie. What happened to Carrie? I saw them get her. They seized her and dragged her off. He moans. I ran. They were so horrifying. They trapped me here. She must have lived. I will still save her. Ugh. I'm sorry, but I think she is beyond saving. I can. I will. Help me. Please, I can't rest till she knows how much I loved her. If I encounter Carrie, I will try to convey, convey your wo words. I want to tell her I love her. Help me. He wavers and floats away. I'll help you. Surely you can bring her back. I was under the silence oath all the time. and can never tell her how I felt about her. Bring her to me? Why were you under a silence oath? They made me take an oath to be silent before I could be an apprentice. Never could I say a word to her. I had to tell her I loved her in other ways. Oh, please help me say the words to her. Okay. I mean, that's clearly not a quest, but if we do manage to find her, we can do that. Yeah, I'm not sure we can save her at this point, if I'm being perfectly honest. So. And I also liked Carrie, too, even though she was just a minor character. He still didn't deserve to die or have that kind of fate. And yeah, I, I probably should go back there and kill Linda, but at the same time, I think there is a satisfying way she goes anyway, so we are going to go ahead and save until then. Spare her for now. Uh, Linda, you... Why would you try to bump? You know, that also makes me mad, too, because... Our group from the first game took the time, did uh, went through many trials, were able to banish Grahoth and all this other stuff. And not only do that, not only banish him, but fully defeat him and save Divernum. And she pretty much uh, took that away, pretty much, and brought him back. In a way like their work was for nothing. The demons have been dragging the humans in the tower here to amuse themselves. I guess we can't buy any more. Okay, well, Menlo is definitely dead. If, uh... She's not here. Yeah, I made your way to the Tower of Magi's Temple. The only room to remain completely undamaged by the demon's attack. The good energy of the place heats the air around you, mostly keeping the demons at bay. From here, you can see the reflection of something metallic sitting on the altar. As you stare at the holy altar to the north, you cannot help but wonder how long it's going to last before the foul creatures break through its defenses. You reach the holy altar, the only place in the Tower of Magi, not at the total mercy of the demon horde. At the top of the altar, you see a small polished knife with a gold handle and a razor sharp blade. You recognize this knife, this is one of the few blessed things in existence. They are small knives with mithril blades, magically forged and multiply blessed. They have the ability to cut through practically anything. Someone has set it here, ready for the taking. The demons seem to have been trying to get at it, but the magic of the altar held them off. Charred smears on the floor provide testimony to the futility of their efforts. You pick up the blessed thing. As you do, a crowd of infernals appears to the south. The massive demon leading them croaks. Thank you so much. We couldn't get it from the altar, but we can certainly get it from you. The attack. 
You sure about that, fool? I'm gonna kill all y'all. I just know just the way to do it. Wipe them all out. See, this was no problem at all, really. So yeah, that's something that would be more of a challenge earlier, but again. Oh, no, I don't want that. You find a wispy and insubstantial ghost settled in a corner. You ask its name. It whispers, I'm dead. Why are you here, spirit? I'm dead. Before I move on, I have a purpose. How did you die? Some imps use me as a plaything. I wish not to speak of it. It is not part of my purpose. What is your purpose? The ghost's voice is flat and emotionless. There is something I am being held to here to teach you. A spell. Who is holding you here? I don't know what hold, who holds me here. Maybe it's me? Does it matter? Go ahead and teach me the spell. The ghost quickly recites a holy ritual. It is difficult, but you memorize it. There, it says. If you have the strength, you can call allies to match the power of the demon kin. Okay, I don't think that's carry though. Oh, divine host. Okay, that that's what that was. Anybody in here? That well, doesn't look like it. Okay, so pretty much all the shopkeeps are all dead too. Dag nabbit. This really sucks. The body of the proprietor of the store lies before you. Something smashed him against the wall with a very large piece of thrown marble. Oh, could it have been Bramford? I, I don't remember. It's been a while since I've even been to the tower. Oh, God. This is uh, even a lot significantly worse than the destruction of uh, Fort Remote and Avernum. The first Avernum. At least Fort Remote. Uh, yeah, at least Fort Remote uh, didn't have like a significant amount of people. Whereas the Tower of Major, on the other hand, yeah, pretty much everyone here is dead. Or almost everyone. Okay, oh goody, more stuff to sell. I personally do not care about being overwhelmed right now by any of the demons. carry before we take on whatever this last part is. In this direction, the corridor gets hotter and the rumblings of the demons get much, much louder. You can hear a lot of them ahead, shouting, arguing, and fighting. The bulk of their force is not far ahead. Oh, I still want to explore before I do any with this. Oh, dang it. Oh, that's bull. Oh, it's a Hakai, no wonder. 
Okay. Okay, you all can have your fun there. Okay, you had your fun, fool. Stop talking about the dang mobile effect. Oh, no, no, he doesn't. She doesn't have it. Okay, now they're dead. Okay, I don't want to climb up. I still want to see if we can find Carrie. Uh. If there is that. You find the crumpled form of Madavi, former member of the triad of the Tower Magi. Something flung her into the west west wall with such force that the rock cracked. She slumps on the floor like a doll with the stuffing taken out. Oh no. That is terrible. And by a cloak. Uh, we could wear this, but at the same time, I don't really like stuff that's a penalty, so we'll just sell it. That is awful. Poor Madavi. He did not deserve that. And she was such a good character, too. I mean, he helped out our second group significantly. Helped us, helped us destroy the Empire portal, and then... Now she... Had a horrible fate because of that recklessness. Alright, before we head up anywhere up here, I do want to explore... down here real quick. I want to see if we can find Carrie and stuff like that. This dead woman was one of the power guards. Someone took her head clean off and left the body behind. Ooh. That's no good. Linda. 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 Uh, this, whole, this whole thing is just sad. I mean, it's not, I know this is not a game where uh, you really see, like, a vi the visuals of everything and what happened and stuff like that, because it is retro style, but at the same time, this is just... It's just really sad what happened to the Tower of Magi here. Again, we could go up to, uh... Okay, so this was another way through here. That was a, I think that was a quest item we found very early on. You know, I'm also curious to see if Erica has any dialogue regarding the Tower Magi. Amazingly, one of the tower's bedrooms is still intact. The bed is large, still made, and looks very inviting. 
Maybe if you rested for a while, none of the demons would discover you. Uh, that would be nice, but at the same time, there are demons in the tower, so I'd rather not. This room was under the laboratory. The floor glows red hot and runes appear and fade on the surface of the semi-molten rock. This must be where she first summoned the creatures that destroyed the tower. You find the spell book of Linda the Archmage. It is an ominous saying, all steel hinges and black leather. The tome smells of sulfur and despite all the devastation which has been visited on the tower, it has remained completely undamaged. If you read it, you might learn something of what has been happening here. You must, might also trigger something even worse. We actually just auto-saved right there, so I wonder if we test that out real quick. Remember what you learned earlier? You turned one of the swords. A small section of the east wall slides away. You see a dark, sooty passage beyond. Okay, let me go ahead and reload that. That'll save really quick and we can do that. Okay, so we probably do want to avoid going directly to where they are. That might be a death right there. There is a portal right here. You open the book and start reading. The spells are a hugely complicated affair, all of them involving the summoning of powerful, sinister creatures. Even if you were strong enough to cast them, you probably wouldn't want to. At the end of the book, however, you find something useful. It is Linda's journal, where she has kept track of the results of her experience. The moment you turn the first tur to the first page of it, though, you trigger a trap. It keeps you from reading the interesting part. That's pretty curious, but whatever, we can still kill these. Okay, I wonder if I should open that door or just go through the portal. I might get overwhelmed either way here. I wish it auto saved at a better point though. You're able to return to the journal. You skim it quick, open to find eight, something interesting before you're attacked again. It describes the successes and failures of redeeming summoning efforts, mostly failures. You finally find an account of what caused the tower disaster. She believed that she could finally imprison the demon Grahoth and bend it to her will. All she needed to do was the massive portal at the top of the tower. Though the guards wouldn't let her up there, she had a small, secret passage she used to gain access. To open the door to the passage, she turned a sword on the wall somewhere in her workshop. Her journal describes preparations to go upstairs and cast the final spell, but nothing after that. You can guess the final result, though. Okay, looks like there was nothing even here. Except loot. Pretty confident that Carrie is dead anyway, so. You step into the portal, the painful vertical and reach, wrenching sensation are even worse than usual. Linda's hidden device carries you to the main portal of the tower. You reach the highest chamber of the tower. The thick insulated walls protecting the tower from the energy of the surface portal have started to crumble. The chamber is dominated by an out-of-control tower of magical energy. Any skin exposed to the maelstrom in the center of the hall starts to tingle and hurt within seconds. Now that you have reached the top of the tower, you can see the horrible way the demons have changed the central portal. It now warps and twists angrily, and through a shimmering, shimmering surface, you can see the infernal lands. You can see that the portal has assumed a distinct shape. It seems like a person stretched and distended in a grotesque way. You have to get closer to learn see more. Okay, so we probably could have gone there even guarding, despite the demons. Let's pick up these uh, items real quick before we...
You are close enough to the portal to get a good look at it, and it's truly a sight to chill the soul. The portal looks like the insubstantial form of Linda the Archmage, painfully stretched to a height of 20 feet. Inside the stone arc, her spirit is held, stretched paper thin by an invisible force. Her ghost from the waist down is below the floor, and the entrance to the portal is through her stomach. Her face is horribly, hideously descended and twisted in pain. When you approach, she looks down at you and speaks. Help me. You must release me. Enter me and I will be disrupted and I can send you home. Help me. I cannot hold hold off Gra Grahoth for long. Attempt to destroy her. As you pull out the tiny blessed knife, Linda's spirit looks down at you in horror. What are you doing? No. Don't. It will doom us all forever. Enter me. It is the only way I can steal Grahoth away. Linda, after everything you've done, I don't trust you. You pass a knife through her shimmering form and it easily rips her into two pieces. You hear a piercing scream. Linda's tortured soul shrieks as her tormented existence ends. Anguish sounds are joined by furious roars as the demons are, one by one, sucked back into the netherworld. You start to feel satisfied with your victory. Then you hear Grahoth's voice coming from the rapidly fading portal. No, mortal. You may have held me back, but you will not escape without paying the price. As searing wind rises, massive impacts begin to shake the Tower of Magi. You try to run, but the quake knocks you to the ground. Just as ceiling begins to came in, and you're sure you're done for, there is a flash of light. Oh, snap. Can we go back in? Stella smiles to you nervously, casting a worried glance at the portal be behind her. I saved the Tower of Magi. And a good thing you did too. I suspect everyone in Vernon would have been doomed. Had you failed, and it is a, had you failed. And it is a good thing we were able to rescue you. You rescued me? Of course. We couldn't let you die without at least trying to help you, could we? The portal here was already set to pull people up from the Tower of Magi. Some quick adjustments enabled us to scoop you up. We would like to use the teleporter. She looks ill. I'd give you permission if there was something for the portal to connect to. It'll be months before the Tower of Magi gets restored to the point where the portal there can be activated. It's bad news for all of us. What is wrong with the portal? The Tower Disaster cut the portal loose at the Avernum and it'll take a lot of work to anchor it again. Nobody is going down and coming up for a while. I hope you can make peace with the Empire, or we will have to fight a war with no reinforcements. I'm still the portal overseer, a much more difficult job since the Tower Disaster. Why is it a harder job now? A grim job since the Tower Disaster. Nobody will be going down or coming up for a while. You can still request permission to use the portal, but I don't think there's much I'll be able to do for you. Okay, just out of curiosity... I'm hoping the game auto saves for me real quick before I. Okay, there we go. I wonder what happens if we do try to. You start move. You move close to the portal, but waves of heat and force start to put you back. Ripples of fiery red appear on the surface. You push harder, trying to get inside. Thelus jumps up and stops you. What are you doing? The portal doesn't go anywhere now. You step in and Bessie will be scattered from here to the sun. Idiot. Chasen, you back away from the portal. Okay, so there is that. Well, I wonder if Erica has anything to say regarding that, though. Well, it looks like uh, we couldn't find Carrie in any way. But I don't think that would have been... Yeah, I don't think that would have been possible. Anyway. It's a shame that she died, too, because even though she was a minor character, yeah, she didn't deserve to go. Linda pretty much deserves her fate, that's for sure. At least she's dead and can't harm anyone anymore with all that demon summoning. Ugh. So yeah, let's see if Erica has any commentary on that. Guess not. 
Okay, well. Cleaned up the Tower of Magi. I won't be able to complete the Metal for Carmine quest because the NPC it looks like they disappear, so I won't be able to do that. But we did save the Tower of Magi after we waited a long time to get to day 161. I probably could have done more jobs and stuff like that to really pass the time and make money, but the main thing for me was just showing you all how that goes in the first place. Hopefully I have enough money to pay the Drake for a blessing. Okay, so for the people that are in the portal keep, the towns and stuff like that, as well as port emergence, you all have the best chance to get, get into the service now. At least for right now, anyway. An axe manor greets you. I heard what you did at the tower. We all owe you a great debt. I've seen to it that Le Le Levi has something nice for you. Solberg and your necks are here in Fort Emergence now. They managed to escape. Thank goodness. Should you need to go to them for rewards in the future, they're putting around somewhere nearby. Okay. <laughs> Sounds good to me. Have my achievements merited a reward yet? Levi checks his records. Ah, you expel the demons from the Tower of Magi, possibly saving all of Vernum. For that, you get armor. He hands you some leather grease with metallic blue tint. Acceptable quality work. Okay, I think the best one I can use that, though, is probably going to be my priest. I still like these a little bit better, but I guess we can put these on. Okay, yes, we have enough for the Drake Blessing now. Okay, let me check on the time here. Still got a few minutes here. Alright, where are Solberg and Hack now? Probably in the room for mages. Worth the triad. Who can keep track anymore? The latest ordeal was the horror of the Tower of Magi's destruction. I lost many friends. I prefer not to speak of it. Was the destruction complete? Nearly. You saw the effects of the destruction as closely as I did. I wish to forget it all. What is the triad's purpose? We saw in the destruction of the tower our greatest risk and greatest failure. By losing track of Linda's experimentation, we lost so much, including Madavi, one of the triad itself. I mourn for us all. Can you tell me more of Linda? He seems to age further before your eyes. I curse the woman. I am glad for the fate she met. I am. I'm sorry, but I am. Is X here too? Yes, the wizard is doing whatever it is X is doing does in the guest quarters to the north okay so if by some chance you didn't learn uh the spells from him, you can do that stolberg here too yes admiring samples from the surface in the workshop to the south what sort of research do you do what happened to the Tower of Magi more than just unpleasant. Linda was a fool and we paid for it. Never again. The answer is more control of magic. More limits. Not less. We keep the weak from knowledge that will damage them. A wise choice, considering the recent unpleasantness of the Tower of Magi. Okay, so this, that's where X and Solberg are. After you take care of that. 
again it's really it's really sad what happened to the tower magi but again i did want to make sure i covered it in the let's play because it is one of those things where you can definitely beat the game before you even uh, uh get to that in the first place so it should have been it, it really should have been just a thing you should have should have been mandatory to do regardless but you do have to wait some days and if you want to wait some days you can do the uh, what the technique i did and just like just simply just uh head to fort emergence and just constantly wait it out or just do jobs do stuff like this be a merchant whatever finish up quest stuff like that all right let's get the blessing from the drake really quickly and then we can oh no 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 no! i don't want to get into combat with undead Blessing from the Drake, and then... And then we can... Move on here. If I can find it again, that is. Where is that thing even at? Where is that Drake even at? I forgot. I only didn't do it because I didn't have the money at the time. But we did pretty much explore all that we could. Well, that's not it. Where the heck is that Drake even at? I don't even know. Doesn't mark it on the map either. All right, let me look really quickly. See if I can extend. Not really. I just remember it was in some sort of mountain range, but I can't even. All right, you know what? Screw it. We're just going to go ahead and take on the end game here. You have found a gate through the wall surrounding the ruins of Foot Race Province. It's a huge lattice of dark iron, 30 feet tall. The bars are edged with razors and tipped with spikes. You approach with confidence. When you get close, as promised, the gates swing silently open. They don't open far, just enough for you to squeeze through. When you're past, they close behind you with a deep, mournful clang. The blasted waves that is Foot Race Province is laid out before you, ready for exploration. And with that in mind, it's time for us to save the game right here. But when I see you all in the next part of Let's Play, we are going to be in the end game here and go to beat the storyline. I mean, it sucks that I can't find the Drake right now, but whatever. It is what it is. But anyway, I'll see you all soon with the next part, and we are going to take on the end game in the next. So I'll see you all until then.